Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of TA with McKay. My name is McKay, and in today's episode, we are going to discuss price action repeating itself or mirroring itself. We'll discuss a little bit of fractals, at least of how to use fractals in this case of repeating and mirroring price action, and how we can use what price action has done often to get clues as to where it may go next. This can be used for day trading. Obviously, in some cases, it can be used on higher time frames for longer term trades as well. And if you guys are liking the content, please remember to like and subscribe, and let's go. Now to start out, before we jump into the charts and actually show some examples, I wanted to give you guys a resource that you can use on your own time. Um, knowledge is power, obviously. So uh, when you have some free time, here's a website I'll put a link in the description for that you guys can visit. It's thepatternsite.com. And this is just a useful site. It has a lot of links here that you can go and check out and read up on different trading ideas, uh, busted patterns, candlesticks. Um, chart patterns, Elliott wave theory, so on and so forth. There's just a lot here. Um, so on your own time, I would recommend coming to this site and reading up on some things, especially if there's some concepts or topics in here that you know are new to you. Um, for this video, I'm going to go to chart patterns, and here under the alphabetical order, I'm going to scroll down to the M, and it's mirrors and price. Now again, I'm not going to go over this today. In this video, I just wanted to show you that this is where I, I guess, first learned or started studying the idea of price mirrors was on this website. Um, again, the price, uh, the pattern site.com. Now in here it says price mirrors, um, using for price prediction. You can come in here later to read up on that. It also has another section that says price mirrors valleys. Um, and it kind of just discusses, um, that concept as well. So I just wanted to do a quick shout out for that before we jump into the charts and we'll move on now. Now, just to be fully transparent, the idea of price mirrors or price uh, repeating itself is only a concept that I've recently implemented in my own trading strategy. And just like everything else, it needs to be used in confluence with other things. And really, it's just more fascinating than anything else. So this is an educational purpose video. I wouldn't necessarily say, hey, look for these and then plan on trading them and having them go 100% the way you expect them to go every time. But one of the guys that uh, was an admin in the group that taught me to trade, and I've only been trading crypto for 14 months. So I'm still a baby in the grand scheme of things. I'm just taking the things I've learned in that group and passing them on to you so that hopefully, you know, I can help you become a better trader. But one of the admins in that group that's very successful at trading, he always used to say, and I've put it as a little quote here on the top right of my chart. He says, I realized the other day that price action is always doing one of three things, repeating a pattern, mirroring a pattern, or flipping a pattern. So for the first example I wanna give for mirroring patterns, this is the Hero, I believe that's a metaverse coin, and we're on the 30 minute KuCoin chart, right? And this is actually, the reason why I chose this one is one of, this is one of the first charts that he had posted that I really decided to trade. Uh, I'd always seen him post charts about the one minute, three minute, hour, daily. He just gave, he would always give examples of all sorts of time frames, how, you know, price action is doing one of these three things. And he definitely is fascinated or in some cases obsessed with mirroring. But on this chart, he'd post a chart where basically, you know, if you put Alt B on your keyboard, right? And you put a little vertical line. He had posted this chart right around February 27th, so we'll put all of you there as well. And what he was showcasing in this case was that price action, if you split it down the middle and went this direction, that essentially you had a double bottom, right? Price action here did a double bottom, you know, then it came up and then it did this big V. And then the second half of this, it was starting to kind of mirror where it was doing a double bottom. I mean, essentially it was just trading within a range, which we all know that's you know, very common in trading, you know, top of the range, bottom of the range. But basically he had posted this chart and was showing that, hey, if you take the date range from about the middle of this price mirror over to the second double bottom this direction, it was about 192 uh, bars, right? You go the other direction, 192 bars, and he was just saying here on the 27th when he posted this chart that, hey, look over the next, you know, um, couple of days or day and a half, there could be, you know, a move potentially to the upside or downside. Now, Hero is a chart, is a, a coin, sorry, that on certain exchanges you can also short. So he would, but what he was actually suggesting was that, hey, if you look at this chart this direction after it put in its second double bottom, you know, and you kind of draw a line here and just kind of imagine that this is a, a falling wedge going backwards, right? It broke out and went to the upside. Well, this same thing we could draw on this side of the chart. We could say, hey, we've got ourselves kind of a, a trend this direction. 
you know, buy the breakout, and you could ride it at least to the top of the range. Now, this, even with ignoring everything that had happened this direction, this would still be just a normal chart you could trade, right? Let's go ahead and um, pull back up. Let's start or stop, pull back up, but let's remove all this, uh, the markings, and just kind of go back to the, the skeleton of this again. So obviously just this alone, you know, this kind of uh, falling wedge was something you could trade. But he, we were kind of we were kind of looking at the idea that hey we could have clues as to when it could break out right at 192 bars that direction, and if you took the middle of this this direction to 192, you know right around I'd be right around here. We were looking for the breakout the other direction to you know or that to start happening around that time frame, and sure enough, you know it broke out about a day later, half a day later, broke out you know retested and started pushing higher. Now of course. Then at that point, just like I said, using Confluence, you'd want to look at this top of this support resistance or the top of the range and say, hey, I need to take profits as soon as it hits the top of this range, which I think was about a 10 to 15% move overall. Um, and I traded this based on his price action mirror I did and then my own TA with the falling wedge and the breakout and the retest, right? Took profits here, let a little bit ride, um, was waiting to add more to it if it retested and pushed higher. Um, Bitcoin rolled over at this point. This coin also rolled over. It broke down, bearishly retested. So that was what we would call a bull trap. Closed the position, you know, um, the, what was remaining in my trade, 1% to 2% loss. But overall, this was a very good trade for me. And so that just kind of opened up my idea or my eyes to the idea of price mirroring. Now, for my next example, this chart is a little bit messy. Um, there is some beauty in the chaos, though, so you have to just stick with me and understand. But this is the Rune daily chart. And what I'm showing here, this is actually a trade that I plan on taking as well. Um, I may even mention it in one of my upcoming videos. Uh, but this is uh, the idea of, of repeating itself, right? So you have back here when Bitcoin topped out last year in May, this was the first time it topped out and then had its big pullback. You kind of have this little pull down, right? This retrace. And then I represent in this green oval, the pump up, yellow oval pump down, you know, blue oval pump back up. And then start it all over. You've got this kind of big pullback again. This is when Bitcoin topped for the second time. Um, or this actually started pulling back before Bitcoin did because Bitcoin topped out actually right around Thanksgiving. Um, this topped out looks like early November, but at any rate, pull back there. Then you have this next wave up, right? Very similar amount of bars. And so right now we're currently on this yellow oval in my mind as far as this price action repeating itself. Um, and then right now, let's see if we pull up our date range. We're about... We're about 37 days in on this previous um, price action back here. It was 57 bars from this top of my green oval to what ended up being the bottom before its last little push higher, right? And so it's not really so much that I care about the times matching up, obviously, because they could be off by a few days. They could be off by 10 days, really, but none of that really matters. Ultimately, uh, what I'm looking for with this trade is just... Zooming in TA is something as simple as we're just trading a breakout of a falling wedge, right? But the reason why I am paying attention to as well to just the bars is that right here we have one bottom. Back here it actually double bottomed. And then it even went up, still didn't break out, but did put in a higher low and then broke out, right? So from a bars perspective, if Bitcoin's going to consolidate or, you know, potentially retest or whatever it's going to do over the next few days to a week, this could roll over one more time, right? What we'll be looking for is either a double bottom or a higher low and then a breakout. And if that starts to happen somewhere near around 50 days to, you know, 55 days, which is about the length of this last cycle within the yellow, right? Well, then I'll be feeling confident at that point that it could then mirror the blue, which might be one last quick explosive move to the upside, right? And then, of course, I have all these targets labeled. But it's just kind of cool to see that, hey, this literally did this little wave down, up, down, up, and it looks very similar right now, right? Down, up, down, and we're just waiting to see if we get the up. And then to finish up today's video, I just wanted to quickly on a fresh rune chart show you how you use the tool to create a fractal on a trading view chart. So go over here to the left menu and then down about four or five, there's this one that says prediction and measurement tools. If you click that, you can go down to this one that says bars pattern. It's very simple to use. Let's just say you wanted to create a fractal from this peak. You can click over to say this peak, which is kind of the um, fractal that I'm trading to a degree, right? 
And so that kind of, you just then drag that around. Now let's just say, because I knew from the previous segment that this falling wedge broke out faster than this one over here, maybe all I'm interested in at this point is kind of what happened after that finally did break to the upside. So I can use that same tool and say, okay, from this bottom to this top, which is basically what I'm trading, let's create a fractal. And then we can drag that over and kind of line it up. And then we can say, hey, you know, if it's gonna kind of follow the same exact idea, this was in this falling wedge, it had a double bottom essentially before it finally broke out. Well, right now, from the if you were just trading this uh, based solely on the fractal, uh, and not using it with confluence with other things like you should, you could think to yourself, hey, it's within this falling wedge, just like back here, right? And this is the first bottom. So maybe it's gonna get rejected again, come back down, either put in a higher low or a double bottom. That would be the point maybe that you enter it and then you're just waiting to see if it breaks out and kind of repeats this last part of the fractal. And that will wrap it up for today. If you guys are liking the content, please remember to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.